Hello my dear students today i am going to start part 5 of chapter friction students in last part of this chapter we have discussed on friction as a necessary evil in which we have discussed about that uh, friction has many advantages with its some disadvantages students in this part we are going to study about advantages of friction and in the next part we will discuss about its disadvantages so let us start advantages of friction see friction enables us to walk without slipping as you can see the explanation we are able to walk on ground because of friction this friction acts between our sole and the ground when we walk we push the ground backward the force of friction acts in opposite direction that is in forward direction which prevents us from slipping backwards and pushes our body forward students walking on slippery surface is difficult because of less friction this also shows that frictional force helps in walking now see the second advantage friction enables a vehicle to move on road without skidding see when the wheel of a vehicle turns it pushes the road surface backwards and its point of contact at its point of contact sorry i am going to repeat when the wheel of a vehicle turns it pushes the road surface backwards at its point of contact but the static friction acting between the two surfaces in contact acts in forward direction static friction acts in forward direction and prevents the wheel from skidding back in this way friction provides a forward push to move the vehicle this is the explanation how friction helps in uh, moving a vehicle forward now see third advantage friction enables us to apply brakes and slow down or stop a moving vehicle students when we apply brakes what happens a vehicle the speed of vehicle decreases it slows down and ultimately it stops so brake of vehicle work on the principle of friction now see the fourth advantage frictional force between the match stick and the box match box helps in lightening the match stick see the explanation when we rub a match stick against a rough surface of a match box then friction between the head of match stick and rough side of match box produces heat this heat burns the chemicals present on the head of match stick due to which the match stick lights up see the next advantage next use of friction that friction enables us to pick up and hold things with our hands students it is friction between our hand and the surfaces of object that we can pick up them or we can hold them with our hands see the sixth advantage friction helps in writing with pen or pencil etc on a surface like board or paper that is writing with pen or pencil is due to friction see the explanation friction plays an important role while writing if there is no friction between paper and pen or you can say pencil then the pen will slip off from the paper and it will not be possible to write on the paper also friction helps to grasp the pen that is the to hold pen or pencil so friction is necessary while writing see the next point of advantage 
it is the friction between the surface of the nail and the wall that keeps the nail intact with the wall not only the wall any surfaces or any uh, board when nail is applied on it hammered on it the nail stuck into the surface due to friction otherwise it will slip out see the next even knots in the ropes or a string are held together due to the force of friction students when you apply knots on a rope it is a friction that uh, helps to tie the knots and uh, held together the knots in the ropes so students today we have discussed about uh, advantages of friction and this proves that friction is applicable in uh, every field of our life we have we can give so many more examples also more many more examples we have which prove that friction is necessary in our day to day life but it has some disadvantages to which we will see in next part of this video uh, this uh, lecture so students till then goodbye